for example, somebody wants to buy a chair or a table for his office, he's not only buying that table. There's a way, there's a picture that person has in his head of how he wants his office to look. So when he comes to your website, you can give him like a design option. So when he leaves your website, he's not only feeling like it's all he saw on your website was a chair and table. He's, you know, he's feeling, he's already, he can, when, as he's buying the chair from you, he's already having an image of, you know, how the chair will look in his office. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. I'm searching for shoes or maybe like a ballet, maybe like a dress for ballet or something for my kids. What would I search for? If I'm searching for, if I want to buy cameras, what would I, what would I search for? I am trying to buy a camera. I find a store that sells camera and that store has, that store has like 10 blog posts talking about 10 different cameras telling you what those cameras are being used for i would trust that person i would be more comfortable with buying a camera from that person it's even so bad these days that is that when you go for example you search for something on instagram you're trying to buy that thing you search for it you go through that page you notice that once you leave that person's handle on instagram instagram tr starts to suggest other vendors to you you want to buy a product and they click Describe. Um, are you are I'm selling a house. It has four bedrooms. This is how you know. Let be very descriptive. Hello and welcome to another episode of Business Fix. My name is Ola Emiola Jide, CEO of the Market Food Shop. Um, I have successfully run an e-commerce website for over ten years and. I'll be doing a series of videos on e-commerce just to share. Um, in this particular episode, I'll be talking about the eight things you need to know before getting a website to sell. Now, um, the whole idea is not to get a perfect website. The aim is to get something that works well enough for you to start you know, so that you can then tweak it as you go along. So the aim is not um, perfection, it's forward movement. So I just need you to know that before we get into it. So the first question you should be asking is, what problem do I want to solve? You know, do people really need this thing that I want to sell? Because the truth is, if um, you cannot solve the issue of a bad product with marketing, if you don't get it, forget about it. Can't. So the first thing would be to ask yourself, do people really need this thing I want to sell? And you need to be very honest answering this question. Don't say because um, my friend said, you know, I'm very good at selling clothes, so I'm very good at this than you. Yes, you can start, but as you go along, then you need to understand this. You need to do your research. And you don't need a lot of money to do this research. Like I, I think I already said this in one of the other videos you need to go to places where um, these things are being sold have a feel observe find um, the top um, five you can start with finding the top five online um, stores in this space go go into their comment section try and understand what people are saying what are what are what are the reviews they are getting what complaints are people giving you know you need to so you need to know what problem do I want to solve. Um, you also need to know how would I get website visitors. It's not all about if you set up, even when you get a physical shop to sell or a physical store or a physical office to sell, you need to know where the customers will be coming from. You need to actually have a honest conversation with yourself where you're asking yourself, where will the where will the website visitors come from and there are three ways i would advise you to go about this you can do this by um, paid ads well targeted paid ads um, using keywords uh, if you have the skill you can do it on your own but if not you have to get yourself a very good ad manager then you can also um, do this by optimizing your website now um, i have another video on how you might want to watch that on how to turn your um, website visitors into paying customers. You might want to watch that because I share in detail 
how to optimize your website. So you need to optimize your website. So when, let's say for instance, somebody wants to buy leather shoes, maybe in Lagos, the person is typing um, where to buy leather shoes so that your website can come up, your website can rank high on Google. And if you have a huge following on social media as well, what you can do is you can offer them a deal and tell them to come and buy on your website. So the third thing you should know is who are, you, who are my target audience? You know, you need to think through who are the people that are most likely to buy my products. Yeah, the same process, the research process to do to understand this better. It doesn't mean that when you pick an audience, they will be the perfect audience, but it just means you are not starting from just doing things in a random way. You are starting from, you know, trying to um, understand and pick an audience. So you go to where similar products are being sold, you observe. You can sample audiences to, through paid ads. You can also sample audiences through closed groups. For example, now you want to do, you want to sell, let's say you want to sell shoes for children. You can, if you're in a women's group in church or something, you can, maybe school shoes, you can offer them or you can show them the school shoes and ask them, okay, would you buy this for your child? Why wouldn't you buy this for your child? You get feedback from them. And you could also do this by um, content marketing. You know, you blog or you um, provide, share content on social media and see who is interested and how they engage. Um, you also want to ask yourself, how do you want people to feel when you visit or when they visit your website. If you sell, you know that most times when people come, for example, somebody wants to buy a chair or a table for his office, he's not only buying that table, there's a way, there's a picture that person has in his head of how he wants his office to look. So when he comes to your website, you can give him like, design options so when he leaves your website he's not only feeling like it's all he saw on your website was a chair and table he's you know he's feeling he's already fe he can when as he's buying the chair from you he's already having an image of you know how the chair will look in his office then you need to also um know where you can get um relevant content for your product pages and your blog um posts you don't want to randomly just pick images from the internet and put on your website. Nobody would trust you. People trust when they see original images. So it only makes sense that you're already thinking. You can go to places, like again, like I said, you can go to places where these products already exist. You also want to be thinking like your customer. You want to, if I'm searching for shoes or maybe like a ballet maybe like a dress for ballet or something for my kids what will i search for if i'm searching for if i want to buy cameras what will i what will i search for so you need to look at you need to be thinking like your customers or your potential customers will be thinking and based on that you have to be thinking of where are the places where i can get um relevant content or content that these people will find um, valuable because what content does for your um, website is that it makes people trust you for example i am trying to buy a camera i find a store that sells camera and that store has that store has like 10 blog posts talking about 10 different cameras telling you what those cameras are being used for I would trust that person. I would be more comfortable with buying a camera from that person. So yeah, you should be thinking of places where you can get relevant um, and original content for your website visitors. Then you should also know, how can I turn my website visitors into buyers? When people walk into your store, your physical store, it doesn't, the fact that somebody comes into your store does not mean that the person will buy from you. So it's then your responsibility when somebody walks into your store to make sure that that person actually buys from you. So there are some things that you should do. You have to make it easy for people to buy. When they come into your website, you have to make it very easy because you need to remember that customers have options. It's even so bad these days that 
when you go for example you search for something on instagram you are trying to buy that thing you search for it you go through that page you notice that once you leave that person's handle on instagram instagram tr starts to suggest other vendors to you so you need to know how you want to talk or you need to think of ways you can turn your um website visitors into buyers a few ways you can do that is quick response time don't let people message you and you're answering you you don't respond to them till like the second day then your website let it load fast don't you know have a website that takes so long to load then when, even when people go on your um product pages when they want to buy a product and they click describe um are you are say i'm selling a house it has four bedrooms this is how you know let be very descriptive um, um amazon does this very well when you go on amazon you know you can have a feel your mind can understand understand how what you are buying would look like then you need to also know how will your website operates how are you going to deliver service how are you going to source for the products how are you going to collect your orders how are you going to deliver the service how are you going to do your quality control what's your refund and return policy going to look like you know so it's very important to think through that then finally you also need to know how you want to um, collect data because to understand how your customers think and behave you need data you can't just assume that this is how people think you need to be very particular about your transactional data you can use a spreadsheet to collect um, to collect data of your transactions what will happen is if you collect if you record your transactions on a spreadsheet after a while you can analyze that data you know try and find out when people are buying when people are not buying products that customers buy the ones that they come back for then you can also use um, Google has some great tools those tools are free you can use them to understand the kind of people that are coming into your website the page in your website that people that the page people visit and just leave you know where people get stuck on your website you can know so you can use Google Analytics you can use Google um, search console you know Google has a couple of free tools yeah so you can use these tools um, so that's it those are the eight things that I think you should know before getting a website to sell um, there are four videos in this series if you've watched this you still have three other videos to go so if and if you run a an e-commerce um, website for your business please share your experience you know we can we'd like to learn from you and finally don't forget to like share and subscribe to business fix I'll see you again soon bye